that we can make contact as civilians. We do not have to wait for the government to do it. The universe is really folded within each one of us. That the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Now would you look at that, we are back once again at the famous shittiest parking lot where I'm gonna scrape my front lip so hard right here. I'm gonna drive around the whole damn parking lot as I get hit by this guy because I wanna go park in the main front lot and I'm gonna hit this guy too, which I think I just wasted my time. This is a video mic that I use from Rode Mic. It's one of my favorite brands. It's called the Video Mic Go, which is like the sport one, so it has no batteries in it. It's easy to use because you can literally just plug it into your camera and like it's great audio. I bought this dead cap for it. This is the fuzzy thing. Basically, this, this helps with like the noise, the wind noise, the basically anything that's super harsh sounding. Now, what I've done is I went to go buy this thing, which is a Rode Mic. Pro and it has a battery inside of it every time you use it you have to turn it on So if you have it plugged in and you don't turn it on and you go to record something You're not gonna have any audio at all. So that was the hard part about this one I tried it for like a 10 minutes and I'm like, I'm not gonna use it. So road microphone nothing against you guys I know that you've seen me tagging you on Instagram and pretty much every picture I post with this in it But this is just the way I want to go. This is just the way that I prefer So I'm gonna return that and I might buy another one. I don't know I just, I don't, I, I like this one. I don't need another one. I spend too much money on this stuff anyway. I do a car. Oh, nice, dude. Oh my gosh, I've done this walk so many times the past six months. They love me here. This is like the ultimate dangerous store for me to be at. I buy everything here. choice. to a car and you want to get rid of reflection, see on the windshield or on the window right there, you just turn it, boom, gone. Much better. Dude, once again with these freaking roads. It's 90 degrees right now. I'm stuck in traffic. I'm literally going 20. Not even. I'm going 15. to take exit 18A. Thank you, I'm Spencer. All right, I'm Nick. Nice to meet you, sir. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, sir. This is nice in here, man. This feels like a, a dealership. But it's, it's uh, yeah, it's not bad. This is um, really impressive. We like the F82 M4. Mm -hmm. So these are the charge cooling components that we designed. So we did the, the top mount charge cooler. We do a front mount heat exchanger. For this, we actually 3D scanned the engine bay. This is a R8 V8. So we've been supercharging this car since like 2009. Yeah, this was a but big one for you guys. We're actually doing a redesign on the supercharger 
Um, so this is a development car that's actually coming back. This car was previously supercharged, mm -hmm. then went back to NA, and now we'll redevelop the supercharger on this car again. Gotcha. These would be billet production. Uh -huh. um, so for prototyping, you know, we can go from the 3D printer to billet and test fit stuff on the car really quickly. As soon as we decide that this is, you know, the viable design and size and fit and function that we want, then we can make a determination on whether we want to keep it as a billet product or mm -hmm. whether we want to go cast. All mm -hmm. of my V10, Lamborghini Huracan, uh, V10 plus stuff. All of that is, um, it's all cast mm -hmm. because I sell those in large enough volumes. Well, it's, it's definitely cool to see the process behind it where you can see there's so much more involved. Yeah. There's a lot more than I thought. And on the software side, we do all of our software development here. So this is our Mustang four-wheel drive dyno. Replicate Road Force. This is a tool. Yeah. This is, this is a tool of the trade. Well, this it's is fun. definitely something that benefits your business for what you do, because you can test everything here. Yeah, and uh, it's not uncommon for a development car to actually sit on this dyno for weeks at a time. Really? We're, we're not talking hours or days. Thousand or supercharged? Um, probably close to that. Jeez. It, it's hard to keep such a number on because we've got <laughs> four levels of product. So I'm over here at VF Engineering. I've had so many people comment on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my LinkedIn, on my Twitter about a company to go to in regards to making my car a little bit faster. I really, really think that VF Engineering is the way I want to go. I just came here today to check it out and there's some really great products here. There's a great showroom here, really good people. And I'm actually going to show you guys the kit that I may be getting, who knows. These are the, the nuts and bolts of the kit. So you've got your manifold. Um, that's actually going to replace the, the factory manifold. It is large enough to have a charge cooler in it. So mm -hmm. it's air to water uh, intercooled. Mm -hmm. So we've actually got a really large charge cooler in here that's circulating water in order to draw the heat out of the air that's making its way into the motor. So it keeps your IATs as low as possible. This this is the supercharger Vortec V3. This is kind of the industry standard. Everybody who's supercharging these cars is using, you know, the Vortec V3. There's a couple guys using the Rotrek stuff, but for the most part, the Vortec V3 is, is kind of the go-to. It's self-oiled, so you don't have to tap into the oil pan to, to use the engine oil. Oh, okay. Um, so this is the drain line. Mm -hmm. So every 7,500 miles, you're gonna drain the oil out of it. There's a filler plug and a dipstick back here so you can refresh the oil. Wow. So it's actually a really quick job, really easy job to, to keep the supercharger serviced. This is the bracket and the tensioner and idler pulleys that uh, the belt system will drive the supercharger off of. These are the charge pipes that uh, the air is coming from the supercharger into the manifold through. The cool thing about our product, it's 100% made in USA. More importantly, it's 100% made in California. Oh, okay. Everything that's here, wow. even our silicone, is all California made. No way. Um, so nothing's coming from overseas. All of our castings are made in California locally. So we can control the process, even though we're not doing 100% of our own manufacturing. Mm -hmm. We've got some of the best manufacturing partners in the industry all local to us so we're, gotcha. we're totally attached to the process so you get to oversee literally from point a to point b the whole process oh, yeah. somebody can kind of tippy toe into our supercharger we've got a, um, a 540 system our 540 horsepower system is our entry level system mm -hmm. that one's not air to water intercooled but you get into a system for the six thousand dollar price range mm -hmm. and then at any point in time if you want to upgrade to a 595 or a 620 or uh, a 650 you can upgrade using the existing manifold, existing floor, existing charge pipes. You could start lower, then upgrade to a higher package oh, yeah. and still use the same components. Exactly. Okay. We use an entirely one piece aluminum manifold. So it's all one piece. There's no individual velocity stacks. On forced induction, the fewer connections you have, the fewer chances you have to boost leak. So I just finished up at VF Engineering and I wanna say thank you to Gary and also the owner Nick for letting me come by and see your area and your whole like setup. I guess they don't let a lot of people in here because it's industrial area and they have, obviously they have retailers that sell this. They don't sell it themselves. This is just where they make everything and assemble and ship and manage everything. So it's very cool to see the process. I mean, there's so much that goes behind making this car just faster. There's so much that goes behind making the manifolds, behind making the actual supercharger, behind the people they work with. And as you heard him say in the video, everything is made in California. That's not cheap. That's not cheap to do that. Most people do oversee parts because it's cheaper to do that and you can manufacture it in bulk. They take a lot of pride in making sure there's quality control and there's no risk involved when you say, hey, I'm gonna give you a kit that's gonna give you car, your car an extra 100 to 300 horsepower, whatever kit you go with, and you're gonna be able to run the car as hard as you want with confidence. So I think my M3, it's gonna be a little bit faster 
um, very soon. You know, I just realized something that I've made so many vlogs and videos and Instagram posts that like, I never really share what my car sounds like and for those of you who have heard it in person, you know how damn loud this car is. The idea behind this now is that I spoke with VF Engineering, we're gonna do some stuff together very soon which I'm extremely excited about. Gary and Nick, thank you so much. I'm very excited to go ahead and get this car feeling a little bit faster and I want to make more of a series of the car because I want to build the car. I want to do a lot to it. I'm working with a lot of different shops, a lot of different people, and I think that it's time to take the car to the next level. One thing I had realized is that I never share how loud this car is. For those of you who know the car in person, it is 500 times louder in person than it is versus the video, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'll give you guys something. Michelin, if you're out there and you watch this video, I may need a tire sponsor soon. Please.